This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. Good morning. Welcome back to Matt Nair on Air. Jane Matt Nair, Greg Bach, Dr. Slide on the board coming to you from our home at Radio Park here in Racine. You can join us. You can call. You can text at 855-752-4842. Leave a comment if you're watching in the live stream on Facebook, YouTube, and what used to be Twitter. I just wanted to back to what we were talking about before, about being there for each other. Yeah. Feel what you need to feel, but we have to move forward. Try and find something positive. And Tom yeah. from Jackson texted in, listening on WAUK. He said, Jane, how about focusing on the upcoming spring uh, judicial race? Yes. Oh, we will be. That's a great, yes. great point, Tom. Yeah. We will have another Supreme Court opening, the Wisconsin Supreme Court, in April. We will be going back to the polls. Yep. Let's not re undo the progress that we've made by getting Janet Protosewitz on the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Let's not elect another Republican who will then undo the fair maps that we just got. And then do it again the next year. And let's not have a Supreme Court that goes back and forth and back and forth. We're all exhausted. Yeah. All right. It's 1152. That means, Calvin, it is time for... This shouldn't be a thing. If you ever have a thing you think should not be, send it in to Greg and me. At Jane Says at civicmedia.us, J-A-N-E-S-A-Y-S. Jane Says at civicmedia.us from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Claire Reed. Headline reads, Coast Guard says crane may be needed to move boat stranded near Bradford Beach since October 13th. After nearly four weeks stuck in the sand, folks might be wondering if the abandoned boat near Bradford Beach is simply here to stay the 33-foot Chris Craft Romer ran aground behind the rock wall between a restaurant and McKinley Marina on October 13th when the owners ran out of gas. They ran out of gas, and that, so they left their 33-foot boat there. Let's okay. You know what? He, that is a nice. That's a nice-looking boat. That's. I won't lie. I just want to see. It is a nice-looking boat. That's a pretty big boat. That's a, that's a boat I would definitely flee the country in. No one was hurt in the incident. Officials say they didn't immediately move the boat because no lives were in danger and it wasn't blocking any federal waterways. The Coast Guard says they're working with a commercial towing and salvage company to remove it. Though the owners, I would hope, are responsible for hiring and paying the salvage company. They had hoped to get it moved by October 20th, but high winds and waves has repeatedly made that impossible. Thursday morning, the U.S. Coast Guard said high winds this week, too, further pushed back retrieving the boat. And now they may need a crane to get it out since it is lodged so deeply into the sand. This boat, I'm just looking it up right now, that someone just decided to leave, cost anywhere between... Ninety nine thousand and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wouldn't you love to have leave your boat on the beach money like that, where like two hundred fifty grand? That's eh, I'll buy a new one. And they ran out of gas. That's just poor planning. All right. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's just that's just that's just dumb. I I, I am baffled. Also, I and you disagree with me, and I understand why you disagree with me. But Jane, I know science. I feel like just get like 10, 20 people down to the beach, give it a good heave hole. I, I don't know that that would quite work. Put it right back in the water. <laughs> the Coast Guard says again. They now they need a crane. Yeah, because it is sunk so deeply into the sand. In the twenty five days it's been stranded off of Bradford Beach, the boat has caught the attention of social media. No surprise. We that bored. Passerby and local media. Someone even put an I closed Walski sticker on it, <laughs> which is an iconic Milwaukee bar. Oh, yeah. When the boat was first abandoned, 
a kayak was on board, somebody stole it, or it was recovered by the owners. Who are these people? I want to talk to these people. Jane, they're idiots. <laughs> and also, here's the thing is, when they, if they, I mean, 25 days, it'll probably be another couple of days before they get to it. A crane to get rid of it, it's going to be put into, into impound because it's been abandoned, which means it's going to go up for auction. And someone's probably going to buy it for like 10 grand. Ooh, we'll have to watch out for that. Right? Civic Media could use a boat. Civic Media. We, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sage. Hey, Sage, can we... Hey, Sage, Sage, can we, we get a boat? a boat? Can we get a boat, please? I found one. <laughs> it's on the beach. It's ours if we just get there first. All right, that does it for today's episode of... This shouldn't be a thing. The Let's Go Yachting Edition. <laughs> Coming up on Monday, if you have heard him, you will want to join us. Mr. Global Matt Randolph will be here to talk all things oil and gas. Mm -hmm. Very, very knowledgeable. The man knows the oil and gas industry. He's been working in it for 30 years. And he actually just announced he is in a partnership now with the publication The Dispatch. Oh, wow. Yes. Ooh. I just saw that on uh, Twitter. Do, I saw that on Twitter yesterday. Do we have famous friends? He's really, he's wonderful. Yes, he is. He can explain very complicated things related to oil and gas and energy in the mm -hmm. U.S. And we can talk about what the presumptive or, of president-elect has said about drill, baby, drill, and how that's going to get us out of all of our economic woes. Which I would actually, if you're interested in doing this, go back and listen to the other interviews we've done with him. This will be our third, I believe. Third or fourth. Third or fourth. And see what we've already covered because, you know, it, what's coming, you'll want to know about. Absolutely. Thank you, Greg and Calvin, all of our engineers, everyone across Civic Media. Without you, absolutely nothing works. Thank you most of all for calling and for texting and for listening. It means the world. I hope you find some joy over the weekend, even just a little bit, and you have the chance to share it. News coming up next, followed by Todd Alba. Keep it right here on the Civic Media Radio Network. We will see you Monday. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 